Tell me about Jinx. Uh, well, without saying too much, because you want to kind of find out things as you go sure. along. But uh, he is a lot like Abilene, really, at that time. Kind of on his own, more than a kid his age should be. Hopping trains, living the life of a con artist. Uh, but he has a moment, too. Um, you know, kind of speaking of counterbalancing these the fire and brimstone messages that Abilene would have gotten at those soup kitchens and things. Uh, he's at a basically kind of a revival, you know, by the river or something, and with his uncle. And it's supposed to be a con that takes place there. But he's sitting there, and in a quiet moment, he's hearing, uh, you know, what the preacher is talking about. And it's a it's very subtle and it's very gentle, but it's something that speaks to him and changes him. So that's kind of where his journey takes a little different turn.